Okay, let's take a look at what is called quadratic optimization. Now, let's go ahead and get an idea of what this is referring to. Any parabola that you know of is going to have a vertex. Now, the vertex is going to be either the maximum point of the curve or the minimum point of the curve. And that's what we're talking about when we talk about quadratic optimization. We're trying to look for the minimum or the maximum values of the curve. And any parabola is going to have that being that it's going to have a vertex. So let's just take a look at an example here. It says the height h of a ball hit vertically upwards t seconds after being hit is given by the equation h of t is equal to 36t minus t squared. Now here's some simple questions. It says how long, to reach, how long will it take for the ball to reach maximum height? What is the maximum height? And how long will it take for the ball to return back to the ground? Now if we go ahead and just think about what's happening here with regards to this function, we just need to go ahead and analyze it. Now, if we know that h of t is going to be equal to t times it by 36 minus t, because I just go ahead and factor out the t, if we let t, h of t be equal to 0, in other words, if we let h of t be equal to 0, or the height on the ground be equal to 0, so we're at ground level, then we can say that, that t is going to be equal to 0, or t is equal to 36. So, how long will it take for it to return back to the ground? 36 seconds, because when t is equal to 0, it's at the ground, it goes up, it comes back down, at 36 seconds. Now, we also know that being that we're dealing with a parabolic, um, with a quadratic, we know that the axis of symmetry is actually going to be at the halfway point, which means that t is equal to 18. So therefore, how long will it reach, to reach uh, how long will it take to reach maximum height? 18 seconds. Now, what is the maximum height? Well, I know that I'm looking for the vertex now. So this value over here is the t value for the vertex. Now I need to find the h value of the vertex. So h of 18 is just going to be 18 times by 36 minus 18, which is 18 squared. And so there you go. I've answered all of those questions just by looking at the function itself and analyzing where the axis of symmetry is, where is the vertex, where are the x-intercepts. And so you can answer a lot of different questions just based upon that kind of analysis. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at some quadratic optimization problems. Let's see how you do. And again, we'll take a look at some examples in class. Okay, give me your best shot. See you again next time. Bye-bye.